All right, the thought of carving pumpkins, removing all the seeds, that's fun for some people, not for the rest of us. <laughs> We've got no carved pumpkins. She's back, LA. You've got all the tricks. Give her some love. Because you're, you're a little pumpkin head. <laughs> we love you. So what are we doing for well, Halloween if we're not carving? Well, okay, so carving can be a lot of work, but yeah. decorating permanent no carved pumpkins can also be a lot of work, but the trade-off is you do it once and then you enjoy them year after year. Yes. So I brought a collection of pumpkins that I've made over the years. The collection keeps growing, I'm running out of space. <laughs> uh, but I do love pumpkins as part of my decor inside and outside. Mm -hmm. And so I've done a few different collections. The first one I did a few years back, and this was my like mantra collection of pumpkins yeah. with the first white one there says oh, I am fierce beautiful. right so like it's that pump up pumpkin yeah and then because leopard print is my favorite color I use some just like little decal stickers to put on there painted the pump uh, the pumpkin coral pink that's nice and the little one that's there yeah uh, the leopard print pumpkin this guy. I just used some tissue paper so Decoupage is, is one of my favorite things to do. And I actually, as I was pulling all these, I realized that I decoupaged all of these pumpkins in some way. Yeah. Uh, if you're not familiar on how to do it, it's probably one of the easiest craft projects. You can just tear any paper up, so napkins, tissue paper, craft paper, anything that's nice and thin and light. Yep. Uh, and then just use some Mod Podge glue, mm -hmm. uh, paint it on the outside first, stick this, the whatever medium on, and then paint right over top, like glue right over top. Yeah. Just to seal it. Super, and it can super be easy. Messy. Make it and Messy. Fun. That's why the kids do it in kindergarten. Well, right? that's right because it dries clear, yes. which is so great. So yeah. don't worry about what it looks like in the process. It's the end result we're going for. Nice. Such as the end result with my photo pumpkins. I love these. So my boys, our tradition is that I take them to the pumpkin patch every year. They're getting older, so I hope that this year we'll continue I hope they agree. Uh, and we can start a new pumpkin. But these are different pictures from the pumpkin patch. Oh, these I also kids. did one from all of their Halloween costumes, including some of my husband and mine. But their first Halloween costume some of our just fun family costumes that we've done and then of course I can't do a photo costume pumpkin <laughs> without doing some of our favorite Halloween costumes you from put a over turkey the on your head I did put a turkey on my head <laughs> <laughs> and that was for city line I might add of course you did of course. only LA right there and she's I, a pumpkin head now and she's been a turkey head in the past this year was maybe one of my favorite right here my oldest son with the, the morph that. suits my oldest son was in the green one my youngest son wanted to be his shadow Aww. and got the black Aww, one see? is lying on the floor. Oh, so, I love these. They're good LA, These are beautiful. But Keep it's these nice forever. to put them somewhere this out now and we reminisce, right? Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. at all the photos every year. Very like nice. our uh, Halloween photos from different City Line shows. They're so good. So there's some of you on The creativity, there, I love it. Okay, so over here, this is good. Well, so these this, it's, it's crazy where you can find inspiration from. I found this as a white bird cage at a thrift store, mm. decided to paint it black, and then I was inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven. Mm. So I took actually a book that I got very inexpensively, it was only a couple of dollars, <laughs> and used the pages from the poem to decoupage on there and then hand painted my little raven that now sits in the cage. So creative. So just let the creativity flow. There's so many things that you can do easily and affordably and that will last you year over year over year. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're not doing uh, decoupage here. We're not doing decoupage. We are doing pumpkin push-ins. Okay. And if you are searching for things like this online use that as your search guide push-ins pumpkin push-ins push because I had a tough time at first finding these yeah and then once I hit on that as a search criteria the world opened up to me for nice. pumpkin decor so this one I want to start with my little fox how flippin' cute is that? That's so cute. Like, so adorable. Now, these are the push-ins. They're called push-ins because quite literally, they've got the little push pin in the back. Th these are metal, so these can go outside. And they've got all of the little pieces there, so you can push these into real or faux pumpkins. Nice. And they just, these will last you all season long. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the carved pumpkin. These guys I actually found at the dollar store. That's like a Mr. Potato Head. Right? So you can put in the mouth, the eyes, the arms, the whole thing. Exactly. That's and so I cool. And I think particularly lovely for kids. Yeah. That they can really, again, partake in the decorating experience of this. Found this one online, too, with the arms and legs. And you could make it in different the formations with the arms and legs, but do a whole family. So oh, instead of the so traditional cute. scarecrows on stakes, yes. you could do your little scarecrow family. And these two I found at the dollar store. That's kind of creepy, gross. right? Kind of creepy. But it what I loved is. is you've got the front and the back of tarantulas and rats climbing in and climbing out, Ooh. which is kind of fun. Now, That's great. 
from earlier in the show when I showed those punch outs, yes. what I would do one step further, punch holes all around yes. and have these kind of sticking in, going into the holes oh, in and out smart. of the pumpkin and you light that up, that would look amazing. I know we're talking no what carbs, happens, but that would be fun. What happens, what goes on in your brain? I just, I it just, is circus music all the time. Right? Just, just circus da, 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 music, da, da, da. yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant 100%. is what it is. One last thing that I found for the kiddies that I thought was brilliant because again, we've already talked about we don't want them using knives. Yeah. We want to make it an activity. I think it's nice if we can extend it as an activity. So I found these sheets that come in a set and there's some directions of different mix and match for them and they are all pieces that you layer. So this takes a little more time than just doing push-ins. Oh, they yeah. can create their own design. So you can see each of the colors is a different layer mm -hmm. that then you can just peel and stick and put them right on a pumpkin. So I thought that this was kind of a lovely little little exercise that you can involve the kids in as well and they can do whatever they want and it's super safe. That's cool. This is a project you that you could just right. leave them with it and make it their pumpkin. Yes. doesn't need to be supervised. There are a lot of parents that want them to take up the time so that's right. very smart. <laughs> Extend the time. Yeah, let's just extend it. Okay, so last but not least. Last but not least, this is where the brain, the circus music kicked in. Yeah. I was like, what if I gave my pumpkin a Halloween costume? So cute. What if I just made it a cute little ghost? So I ordered some really inexpensive, I guess we call this cheesecloth or yeah, gauze. Uh, so it's super inexpensive. Cut two pieces for each pumpkin so they're layered. So they're cute as is. Put a couple little vinyl stickers as the eyes, but that's not the cool thing about these. Okay. Sure, they're ghosts. That's all fun and dandy. Put these on your porch in the sunlight all day, but when it gets dark and dusky and then really dark at night, yeah. I've sprayed the cheesecloth with glow-in-the-dark paint. Ooh. So these glow, these have these e this eerie kind of greeny glow to them, and we see the ghost face really, per like, perfectly. That's so cool. They're really, really cool. And I, now I just want to spray glow-in-the-dark paint on everything. Right. It's, honestly, <laughs> it's clear, and you can just turn anything into a creepy little Halloween glow-in-the-dark surprise. Oh, love I it. love that idea. These are, like, such incredible ways to make your pumpkins. If you want to spend a lot of time, if you don't want to no, spend a lot of time. Also fast, exactly. If you want to be creative, LA's got it all. Thank you so much for that.